Well, it's exciting to be here at this second uh, Lean Architecture Workshop. Uh, we've reassembled these folks from all over the world, which is an interesting premise because we've kind of gone through the in the previous workshop, the you know the the forming, the norming, the storming, and we've been able to make uh, some good headway on the second iteration because we've we've got a way of working, but it still takes time to work through different viewpoints. I think the impact or the value of ITIL in keeping organizations competitive uh, really lies in several components. One of them is leveraging what is there and has been there for a very long time in better ways. Making sure that what you're doing makes sense for your marketplace. Whether your marketplace is your own internal organization um, or whether your marketplace is a broader marketplace. So there's a lot of guidance in ITIL about that that has been frequently and to the great detriment ignored that has to do with competitiveness. By using ITIL these companies are able to make sure that their customers receive the value they want from their services but they're able to deliver them in a cost-efficient and low-risk manner. And that's how organizations can use ITIL to make sure that their products and services remain competitive in an increasingly complex landscape. The update that we're working on right now seeks to expand upon that. We've had changes in the way people work in organizations. The update that we're working on right now helps organizations recognize where some of these pressures are coming from and gives them the tools they need and the practical guidance they need to adapt their internal as well as external interfaces to be able to continue to remain competitive uh, in such an environment. We have always talked about continual improvement. What we are incorporating into this next edition of ITIL is very specific tangible ways that organizations can make continual improvement real for their organizations in order to deliver the best possible value. There is this cornucopia of valuable tools out there to draw upon. But if you don't know which tools to apply to which task, uh, you just have a bunch of, of big heavy tools that are going to sit there and rust. So a lot of the things that are coming out of the update are going to give people a much clearer idea of how to go about building the whole house and you know not just doing this little bit or that little bit. Uh, so I think that's one of the big things that's coming out of the update. Where we're evolving to is an understanding that a fixed, rigid, repeatable approach is great for efficiency and repeatability, but somehow lacks the focus on value, the focus on experience, the focus on rapid, agile changes that are increasingly necessary in the world. So we're moving from a very, I hate to say it, but sort of a tailorist process mechanical approach towards something more flexible. Yeah.